The Knicks concluded this season with a disappointing 37-45 record, missing the playoffs for the ninth time in 10 years. Ouch! And there is already considerable speculation that they will be a significant contender in the offseason trades. The team certainly needs to do something to make sure they are performing at their best in the upcoming season. Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know about how the Knicks plan to approach the offseason along with other NBA news. You don't want to miss. First up, how the Knicks need to be approaching this offseason. As the New York Knicks disappointing season draws to a close, many are turning their attention to the offseason. While some fans are expecting for a new coach or a major trade, neither may be in the cards. There won't be a lot of top NBA free agents available. All three players, Bradley Beal, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden, have decided to stay with their present teams. Meanwhile, DeAndre Ayton and Miles Bridges, two emerging talents, will be restricted free agents. There won't be much room to add a star on the free market with the Knicks payroll already anticipated at $129 million. It also appears that the franchise has no plans to make a major move this summer. Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report told NBA insider Mark Stein that he approached various Knicks officials about pursuing Russell Westbrook. Not only did they dismiss the idea, but they also gave the impression that their offseason strategy would be to focus on the present core with a few minor tweaks. So what do fans want to see the Knicks do to try and up their current game? Let's take a look. Now, things want to see for the Knicks this offseason. First up, it's no secret that fans of the Knicks want to see new players joining the team in the hopes that they can finally progress and perform better in the upcoming season. New York hasn't had a star point guard in a very long time, and while some fans would like to see the Knicks acquire one through a trade or free agency, others are opposed. Why? Because of athletes like Miles McBride and Emmanuel Quickly. It's not unusual for the Knicks to sign a big name during the summer. In fact, it's what kept supporters' hopes alive following a string of four seasons. Mitchell joining the Knicks over the offseason is more unlikely than Brunson coming because of his contract and the fact that he hasn't demanded a trade. In July, the current Maverick will become an unrestricted free agent. Brunson will turn 26 in August, so he'll be closer to Julius Randle than RJ Barrett in terms of age. But he still has plenty of basketball left in him. In the 77 games he's played this season, he's averaging 16.3 points, 4.8 assists, and 3.9 rebounds. Brunson has a 50.3% field goal percentage and a 37.2% three-point percentage. Can you picture what the Knicks would look like with a true point guard like Brunson if they could build around Barrett? Those would be some of the most beautiful basketball fans I've seen in a long time from the Knicks, so fingers crossed we see some big change like this during the offseason. Do the Knicks still need this all-star, or is it time to let him go? Next up, fans of the Knicks are questioning if they really even need James Randle, but what happened to bring us to this point? Randle's time at the top didn't last long, as he went from all-star to no longer being New York's star. The 27-year-old was said to have demanded a trade, but he laughed it off following the Knicks' 125-114 loss to the Hornets earlier this year. Randle has insisted that New York is where he wants to stay, but he hasn't done much to back up his claim. In 72 starts with the Knicks this season, the 27-year-old averaged 20 0.1 points, 9.9 rebounds, and 5.1 assists. Randall shot 41.1% from the field and 30.8 from outside the arc, his lowest percentage since he appeared in 2014-2015 and shot a 33.3%. This is undoubtedly Randall's poorest season since he took his game to new heights with the New Orleans Pelicans in 2018-2019. But if there's one thing people should know about the NBA, it's that anything can happen. Given the next season, a Randall trade isn't out of the question, but it would be most likely only based on his decision. To revive Randall's relationship with New York, we're not sure what needs to be done. If the damage is irreversible, he could be better suited for a different team. His four-year $117 million contract extension, which he signed before the start of the year, has yet to begin. So there's still a lot of time to trade him out if they decide to, and fans of the Knicks certainly think this could be a good idea. Next, a new head coach? The number one change that fans want to see this offseason is for the New York Knicks to hire a new head coach and receive a fully fresh start. Thibodeau, the current Knicks coach, has gone from being the NBA's coach of the year to being despised by Knicks fans. Why? It's difficult to pin a single reason, although it could stem from the head coach's adamant refusal to give the younger players more playing time. Yes, New York's roster is young as a whole, but this is especially true of guys like Obi Toppin, Quickly, and McBride. After Derrick Rose went down with an injured ankle last December, Thibodeau was given a difficult challenge, but he made it that much worse by refusing to accept the idea that Alec Burks just isn't starting point guard material. However, we already know and are pretty certain that Thibodeau is set to return as the head coach next season, although there are apparently many inside the Knicks organization who oppose this decision. Thibodeau's dismissal two years in may seem harsh, especially given his success the previous year, but it's just not a good fit. New York has a lot of young talent, but Thibodeau doesn't seem to know how to make the most of it, simply ignoring some of the most talented players in the team. Something certainly has to change. And now, let's talk about how Ben Simmons continues to lose fan support. Here's the latest development in a sorry saga. In other recent NBA news, basketball fans have officially lost all sympathy for Ben Simmons, as the newest twist in his tragic situation has enraged them even further. The Brooklyn Nets have stated that Ben Simmons is officially out for the fourth game of their playoff series against Boston. After he missed the whole 2021-2022 NBA
NBA season. To make things even worse, the Nets are on the verge of being swept by the Celtics. After a lengthy ramp-up process due to a back issue, Simmons was widely expected to make his season return and team debut in Game 4. However, Simmons awoke with back pain just this past week, according to ESPN, and both himself and the Nets have decided to play it safe and put him back on the bench. After being cleared for contact last week, the former Philadelphia 76ers player took part in more live drills at practice, including a 4-on-4 exercise. Former players and analysts alike slammed him after learning of his absence from the crucial game. Reggie Miller, a former Indiana Pacer player who is now a television NBA analyst, expressed his anger for Simmons and the entire situation on social media. Come on, man. Out for Game 4 when it was rumored you're gonna make your debut, he tweeted. As small a chance as the Nets have to come back in this series, you still have KD and Kyrie. All you need is to win one game and take it from there. Hashtag man up, he wrote. On a similar note, Stephen A. Smith, a popular ESPN presenter, added to the criticism, writing, This is one of the most pathetic situations I have ever seen in my life. This past week, the second-seeded Celtics upset the seventh-seeded Nets 109-103 in Game 3 to take a commanding lead in the series. In NBA history, no club has ever won a playoff series after falling behind 3-0. Simmons, who was acquired in a blockbuster trade that sent James Harden to the Sixers in February, has yet to appear in a game for the Nets. Fans of the Nets and Simmons are starting to doubt whether they will ever see him back on the court, or if he is really just all talk. What do you think? And there you have it, everything you need to know about how the Knicks should approach this offseason in order to try to get back on the leaderboard this upcoming season. Additionally, we also delved into Simmons and how he continues to disappoint NBA fans and his new team, the Nets, by continuously sitting out on important games. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. What do you think the Knicks need to go to get back in the game next season? Do you think Ben Simmons will ever play another actual game? Let us know in the comments. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching!